Hello and here's your walk around video on your uh, Titan Pro 4X XD here. Uh, I absolutely love this here, having the black and the red in the rims and then having the white just adds so much of an accent to these trucks here. You get the nice Titan running boards here with the red Titan right there. Uh, because this is the XD, you do get the tow mirrors, which is also super, super nice. Uh, being that I got the keys right here, uh, you do get the uh, remote start on it as well. Uh, two valet keys, and then remote start on the other key fob as well. Uh, coming around here to the front, uh, you do get that nice, really beefy, solid look to the front here uh, with that black grill and the white. Again, I think that contrast in color changes so much and just makes it look fantastic. Uh, right here is actually a camera that's in the front, and then you also do get these little circles that are all the way around the vehicle here. Those are going to be sensors, so if you get too close to something in the front, it's going to start beeping at you, and then it's kind of hard to see in the video, but right there above my finger there's a little triangle that's up there there's a camera what that camera does there is it gauges uh information out in front of you so it'll help you like stay inside of your lanes it has forward collision assistance in case somebody jacks on their uh brakes right in front of you uh pedestrian detection so if a kid runs out in front of you it knows it's a person does everything it can to try to stop it and then the camera that was right over here on the front grill. That's gonna be for uh, like an around view monitor on this thing as well, which is really cool. I'll show that to you when I hop inside the vehicle. Now, uh, it's hard to show this, but there's a light that's right here. When you unlock the car and you're walking up to it, that light shines down, so it's like a puddle light. So it shines right down, it illuminates your uh, path to get inside the vehicle, and then right here is another camera. This works for that around view monitor, which I'll show you here in a couple minutes. Uh, and then I do have the Pro 4X mud flaps on this here as well, just adding to that aesthetic and look to the vehicle, which is really, really nice. And then uh, coming onto the back here, you get that black guard that goes right across here again, adding to that really beefy, aggressive look to it. You do have the tow hitch with all of the pin connectors right here as well for if you do plan to be doing any towing. And then you do have backup sensors around on the back bumper as well. Um, and then you do have this little tail step right there. So when you do go to get up inside the truck, it makes it much easier. So doing this here, it's got auto dampening. So that doesn't just slam right down. Uh, it takes a lot of that force and allows it to go down slower, uh, more controlled, which is also going to reduce wear on the tailgate and just, you know, later in life or at the end of a hard work day or something, it's pretty nice having this thing weigh a lot less than what they normally do. So let me hop up into the bed here. So here you do get the full uh, sprayed in liner. Uh, then you do have the hookups here for the gooseneck as well, which is really, really nice. Uh, then you have your Titan boxes, which are these things right here and over here on this side. So I just recently sold one of these to a gentleman up in Illinois. Um, and his question was, is behind the Titan boxes, do you have the, uh, still have the outlet in the uh, bed and the lights as well? Um, and I found out that you do. So if you ever do want to take these out, you certainly can. Just trying to get these boxes open. They're a pain in the butt with just one hand. I'll come back after the video and make a second one to open those up for you here, um, just because it's a pain with having the keys in my hand and the phone in the other one. Um, so I will open these up and show them to you. It's pretty much just some cargo compartment area there. I'll pretty much open them up and take some pictures for you. And then you have this railing that goes all the way around the vehicle. Uh, that's our Utilitrack system. It's actually really interesting. Uh, they have these little cleats inside the car in a box. And you can put those cleats in there. So instead of having just a normal, like every other vehicle, uh, tie down sp straps or spots only in two or four places in the back, you can arrange these wherever you want. So whatever it is that you're tying down, you can tie it down in a better way, or you don't have to kind of, no geometry, I guess, to tie down certain different things. Cause you can, uh, instead of having to loop ropes over in different areas, you can just move those cleats and it works out perfect from there. Uh, that's actually what's in these boxes here. Um, and then here is your back seats. So you get that signature black leather with the red stitching going down through as well, just adding that really premium look to them. And then over here, you do have two fast chargers for a phone. And then you do have the outlet that you would normally have in a house. 
Um, so if you went camping, you can, you know, run any sort of appliances there. And then you do have heated seats for both the seats back here as well. So any passengers you have in the back should certainly be pretty happy about that as well. And then pulling these seats up, just like that, you have these little things right here. Let me try to move everything out. I apologize for the struggle. It's uh, having one hand makes things take a little bit longer. But what you can do on these fold them out so you get like a little bit of a tray that's underneath there as well so again just a little bit more versatility in the truck which is super nice and then this is how you release the seat to pull it back down that also does work on that other seat as well and then you do have the slider in the mirror and then up there is the full uh sunroof it's the whole entire roof essentially is a sunroof which is nice now you have this little button right here on the door. If you hit this button with the keys on your person, and let's say the car was locked when you hit this button, it'll then unlock the car without you having to take your keys out of your pocket. And then if it was unlocked and you're leaving and going into a store or something, hit that button and then that will lock the door. So it's nice. Never have to take your keys out of your pocket aside from doing a remote start. Uh, over here you'll see you got power locks, windows, mirrors, everything there. And then here you have memory position seats as well. So if you have two different drivers, that have two different positions. You never have to fight with each other about why did you move everything on me? Because uh, they can have their own setting, which is really nice. You do get the illuminated kick plates right here. It's hard to show during the daytime, but at night this sucker glows and says Pro 4X, and it just adds that premium feel to it. You also do get power seat forward, backwards, up, down, pretty much every way but left and right. Even if you grab underneath the bottom, you can move the seat where it would be underneath your knees up and down so you don't feel like you're sitting in a bleacher or something like that, which is really nice. Fog lights right here, automatic headlights right there, trip reset, and then this here is a brightness or a dim for the dash. Uh, right here you got your cargo lamp to turn on the light that is right up there. So if you wanted to do some work at night, you definitely can. And then electronic locking rear uh, axle and hill descent. And then this one right here is really cool. This is like a, if you are towing and you're squatted down a little bit, you can change the position of the headlights and have them shine more high up, more lower down, um, so that you don't have your lights not shining where you need them to, which is really, really nice. Uh, this right here is a power adjustable for the, I think I have to have it turned on to do it, uh, but it's power adjustable and it will uh, tilt and telescope the steering wheel. So if you can't get comfortable inside of this car with the amount of adjustments you have here and on the steering wheel, uh, I, I don't know how to help you get comfortable because these things, they really are. That's one of the biggest things about Nissan that I love is that they have put so much effort into making you have a really comfortable drive, which is really, really nice. So hopping into the car and getting it turned on here. So I think this vehicle was actually dealer traded to us from somewhere else, which is why we do have 245 miles to it. But while I got the camera right up over here, I just want to show you this. There's that little speed limit sign. So the camera I was telling you about that's up here, that's going to read the most recent traffic uh, speed limit sign. And uh, as long as it was able to clearly read it, it's going to post that right there. So when you're driving down some of those roads that you haven't been on and you're just not sure of what the speed is, so you're like, I'm just going to cruise at this and hopefully I'm good. Uh, now you don't have to worry about that because if you passed one, just look right there and it's going to tell you the, the speed that you were on. Um, this also does have uh, blind spot monitors. They are in the mirrors as well. So if somebody is in that blind spot, it's going to light up, let you know somebody's there. And then you also do get the bubble mirror on the bottom as well, which is a nice touch because I do like to know that somebody's in my blind spot with that being lit up orange and what that would be and where it would show you. It's kind of hard to show, but there's a little icon behind my hand right there. It looks like two parallel cars. That'll light up orange. It's right here and then same on the other mirror. Um, so when that lights up, you know somebody's there, but I also, not not just knowing that somebody's there, but being able to look in the bubble mirror to see where they are so I can gauge that distance better is absolutely huge. So really nice there. Uh, this does also have the Fender sound system. Uh, if you think a Bose sound system sounds good, a Fender blows it out of the water. I mean, it is as high up as it can go. It sounds so nice. Uh, over here, you got volume up and down. Uh, all of your settings here for Bluetooth. And then these bits of controls are going to be to go to different setting screens up there just to customize the truck, get it exactly how you'd want it to be. And then you do have your cruise control over here. So um, turned it on for you. It sets an icon right up there. Um, if I hit this little button here, you can see where it says distance in the bottom. 
and it goes one, two, three, three, two, one. Each one of those bars is a car length of distance ahead of you. Um, so what it does is if I had it at two, set my cruise control to 70, and a car pulls out in front of me going 60, and they're within those two car lengths, I'm just gonna automatically pace their speed. So I find every time I turn on my cruise, somebody gets in front of me and I have to tap my brake and restart the cruise control. So this makes it so you don't have to because as soon as they get in front of you, you slow down and pace it. If they get out of your way, you go right back up to 70 like you had it set. Um, over here, shifter, pretty normal stuff there. You can manually shift it here and you have a tow mode down here on the end as well. That's just going to mitigate your shift points when you are towing uh, so you don't lose that power and have to start up again from too high of a gear or something of that nature when you go to pull a hill, which is nice. Here is everything for your two-wheel drive, four high, four low. Here you have electronic brake controller, heated and ventilated seats for both sides, and you have a heated steering wheel here as well. If you don't like all the safety features on this vehicle, you can disable them by clicking this. And if you don't like the little parking sensors that beep when you get close to something, you can turn those off by hitting here. Traction control is there as well. And then right here you have your hazard lights. Uh, going up to here, you do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. All you got to do is plug your phone into one of those ports and it should just work seamlessly from there. Everything up here is touchscreen. Um, and then if I hit map, you actually can see that you also have navigation. This is not a monthly subscription charge. It is free as long as you never take out the SD card in the car. Uh, so that's a bit of a feature there because it's uh, no upkeep. So that's always nice. Um, dual climate control as well with an auto feature. If I have auto on, you don't have to mess with how much fan, how little fan, how much in the blue, how much in the red to get your setting where you need it. If you have it on auto, you have it set to 72, it's just gonna keep you set to 72 like a thermostat in the house. So um, again, it goes to that comfortability in your drive where you don't have to pay attention to much else other than the drive itself, which is really, really nice there. Cup holder, uh, a couple places for uh, you know phone holder, uh, anything you'd really fit in there, I guess. Um, and then all of these do come out as well. So you can put things inside of there. It's just like an additional middle console. Put that back in. Uh, an absolutely humongous middle console here. You got places for your pens right over here. Uh, and then business cards or credit cards right there as well. You can take this tray out and then you can see it has so much room in there. Um, and then the last thing that I will show you on here, because I think I touched on most of it, um, show you this real quick just glove box pretty normal there but i do want to show you this so um i'm going to hit this little button right here with the camera like this and let me see nope oh, hitting the wrong thing there um so you got your uh full sunroof right here it stops right about there at first and then you can pull it back so it gives you that full entire slide all the way through, which is super nice. And then I'll show you how far this opens so you can get an idea there as well. Opens up a pretty good way uh, as far as most vehicle goes for a sunroof. This opens up the most of, of most of them. A lot of them will stop right about here. So it gives you a little bit more room and you get a bug deflector that's right here. So anybody sitting in the back seat is not gonna get peppered with bugs or anything like that. You do have a little spot that's right there for the uh, sunglass holder there. Um, and then you have your lights for inside the car. So a um, little bit longer of a video, but I wanted to make sure you answered all of your questions here. Uh, if you do find you have any more questions, just feel free to let me know. And I'm not opposed to coming out here and uh, making a video again to point out those things or even just answer them for you from there. So I'll get this sent over to you and uh, hopefully we get this thing in your driveway soon, man. Thank you.